Hello, dear viewers. Let's put on our cryptozoology hats for today because we're going to talk about the forest spirit, Leshi, from Slavic mythology, explored. I'm Andrew Lapamardo, your narrator, and welcome to Marvelous Videos. Fantasy and pop culture draw a lot from cultural folklores and mythology. Horror especially soaks these grim stories to play on the fears and hopes that humans have for these superhuman entities. Fantasy shows in particular go above and beyond in depicting these mythologies and mythological creatures and beings. All sorts of mythologies have taken center stage, with some of the most prominent being Greek and Norse mythology. When you look at iterations on the big screens like Thor, Loki, Poseidon, and Zeus. However, there are many other mythologies that are currently being explored. The Leishi, most recently majorly seen in the widely watched Netflix series The Witcher, is one such entity taken from Slavic mythology, which is an important influence running through the show. In Slavic mythology, the Leshi is a male forest spirit who guards wild animals and woodlands. From the Slavic word les, which means forest, Leshi means forest king. Baruta has been linked to the Slavic terms bar, which means beehive, and bartik, which means bee master a figure who, in some cultures, had shamantic functions. Leshy is referred to by a number of other names and spellings, including Leshy, Lezi, Lesovic, and so on. The Leshy is a sporty spirit who loves to play pranks on others. However, he can be malicious when enraged. He is rarely seen, but his laughter, whistling, and singing can be heard throughout the jungle. The Leshy may be easily identified because, despite having the look of a man, he lacks eyebrows, eyelashes, and a right ear. His head is somewhat pointed, and he lacks a cap and belt. The Leshy is as tall as the trees in his natural forest, but as soon as he leaves it, he shrinks to the level of grass. He is roughly comparable to Western Europeans' wood woes and the Basque County's Basawan. The church transformed him into a terrible beast with demonic traits, also known as Baruta. Let's see what exactly is this spirit deity and is it really dangerous? Before we go into our explanation though, we have one small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. It's Eskel's Leshy. Who is Leshy in Slavic mythology? He is the spirit of the forest, and he is one of the most well-known Slavic mythological characters. The origins of the Leshi are disputed, and it's difficult to define if he's nice or bad, as is customary in Slavic folklore and fairy tales. In Leshi's situation, it would depend on his temperament. He is a benevolent ghost who guides persons who are stranded in the jungle according to certain stories. In other accounts, he dupes tourists into following him further into the woods, leading them to dangerous bogs. Leishi, as the forest spirit, will go to any length to safeguard his realm. Thus, his views on people are frequently influenced by how people treat the forest and its creatures. Different sources describe him differently just like anything else in Slavic lore. Some believe he's a giant who can walk across the river with ease, while others portray him as a small green man. As a result, it is safe to infer that the Leishi has the ability to change his size and look at his will. Despite this, most stories and fairy tales agree that the Leishi looks and dresses like a man, with a few minor differences. He can have moss on his clothes, a green or blue beard, and he doesn't cast a shadow. He also possesses blue blood, according to some, and lacks the right ear, eyebrow, and eyelashes on his right eye. But it's the fact that he buttons his clothes on the left side and doesn't wear a belt. That is the weirdest of them all. The Leshy, on the other hand, 
does not always take the shape of a human. He can transform into a bear, wolf, or owl, as well as tame animals like the black cat. A tremendous wind surrounds Aleshi as he wanders through his realm, anticipating his approach and following in his wake. He makes a lot of noise for a forest creature, with whistling, laughter, clapping, roaring, and cackling noises, announcing his presence. You definitely won't miss the pandemonium of sound that surround a gigantic man with a green beard, even if you don't see him. According to adaptations of the Leshy, it looks after the forest animals and birds, letting them know when it's time to migrate. He has the ability to shapeshift into a variety of different forms. He can change appearance into that of a peasant with flashing eyes and shoes worn sideways. The mysteries of magic can be learned by befriending a Leshy. To protect their harvest and livestock, farmers and shepherds would establish packs with Leshies. The Leshy has a variety of tricks up his sleeve, including leading peasants astray, sickening them, and tickling them to death. This is what makes him a true monster. They've also been known to hide woodcutters' axes. When Aleshi crosses their path, they become lost in the woods. Turn your garments inside out and wear shoes on the opposite foot to locate a way out. Leshies are nefarious creatures with horrifying cries and the ability to impersonate the voices of persons who are familiar to wanderers in order to entice them back to their caverns, where the Leshies will tickle them to death. They can also remove signs from their post. Although Leshies like leading humans astray and snatching young women, they are also notorious for preventing grazing livestock from going too far into the woods and becoming lost. Cowherders may sometimes establish packs with Leshies by delivering him their crosses and sharing communion with him after Christian church gathering. These packs are claimed to bestow particular powers on the cowherds. When there are more than one Leshy in the forest, they will struggle for dominance by knocking each other down. Leshies have also been regarded as demons. Under this interpretation, a Leshy is an infernal demon or spirit. He's a Slavic forest being, similar to Polovic spirits in appearance. He defends the forest birds, trees, and animals, appearing as a human with blue skin, two enormous horns, green hair, and a long green beard over his face, and wielding a club or whip to show his command of the forest. Leshi also has their team of assistants, Torasik and Stukach, or Little Lasheki, as they are known in Slavic folklore. Torasik enjoys taking on the appearance of a deer with golden antlers. He guides hunters into the deep of the woods towards the worst marshes in a malevolent and cunning manner. Stukach can accurately imitate the sound of an axe, as if he were a woodcutter. People who get lost in the woods can follow the sound of the axes chopping for hours. Very bold. Huh? Oh, there. People should get acquainted more, really. Converse. What to do to avoid Leishi's wrath? Every time someone gets lost in the woods, the Leishi was always blamed. So, if you're planning a trip to the woods near you, you'll need to know how to avoid provoking the forest protector, Darkseid. First, Pray to the forest owner and defender and beg his permission to enter before starting the trek along the murky route in the deep woods. Second, it is definitely forbidden to punish children or have a dispute with anyone while passing through a forest, according to Slavic folklore. That is, unless you don't mind a quick meeting with Leishi. The fourth and probably one of the most important points is to avoid mentioning the name Leishi at all. Don't bring him up. Don't even mention his name, under any circumstance. The woodland ghost will appear before anyone who summons him, and I don't think you'll appreciate the encounter. Fourth, do not, under any circumstances, shout in the woods. Don't respond to the echoes. You are probably wondering, what if you did everything right, but slipped up and now the Leishi is in front of you? Or, 
Maybe you are just someone who likes to be prepared in the case you do run into this forest spirit in its gigantic form. There are a number of Oberregers, or amulets, that can be used to defeat a Leishi. You can put salt and bread under a tree, or a linden tree branch that has been stripped of its bark to make a circle. Leishi is very vulnerable to fire. Leishi is also allergic to dogs and tricolor cats. Lastly, the Leishi is terrified of firearms particularly if copper bullets are used. Finally, if you didn't follow the guidelines above and Leishi led you into the thickets of the forest, you'll need to take off your clothes and wear them inside out or switch your footwear from the left leg to the right leg and vice versa in order to find your way back. Our advice? Don't go to random forests because humans don't come out of situations like this unscathed. Not all of us can be like Geralt of Rivia. Leshy's relationship with humans and blood, an evil deity. Because a peasant's life was always intertwined with the forest, folk tales are full of tales about Leshy and the spirit's relationship with humans is intrinsic to note when learning about the Leshy. The forest provides food for the peasant and his family, but it was never in his control. As a result, the woodland was always tinged with a sense of mystery. Humans have to respect Leshy in order to avoid issues with him. For example, before visiting the forest, obtain permission and do not cut trees or hunt without Leshy's consent. Furthermore, being noisy or blowing a whistle in the forest is not a smart idea. Such contempt may result in catastrophic consequences. Leshy could frighten the poor human being, bringing him bad luck, or even kill him in the worst case scenario. It was also risky to enter the woodlands if a relative had cursed anyone who did so previously. Leshy believed that a cursed person was his property. Shepherds have the chance to negotiate a bargain with Leshy in exchange for the safety of their livestock. Leshy takes care of their herd and grazed them after Shepherd consented to an unseen contract. There were, however, a number of regulations to follow, like remaining out of the forest and not harming other animals or plants, as well as witnessing babies or dying creatures. Leshy might kidnap the shepherd's herd and hide the animals in the forest, where no one would ever find them. An irresponsible approach always resulted in problems and punishments. With this hot and cold relationship with humans, in comes a third party, Blood. Leshy and Blood, an evil deity from Slavic mythology who tried to harm humanity by leading them astray and making them wander around well-known sites without finding their way out, are linked in several folk stories. Leshy is said to be capable of falsifying trail signs or posing as a person to lead a wanderer in the wrong direction before vanishing and leaving the individual befuddled. Leshy has been accused of luring and kidnapping persons who have gone missing. There could be a variety of reasons for this. He had the ability to abduct woodland inhabitants who had been cursed by their families, particularly their parents. The goal was sometimes to kidnap and marry a young girl. Then he'd treat her well and look after his wife. In other situations, though, Leishi had the ability to turn a human into his personal slave. Christian rituals and insignias like the cross sign or prayers and paganism practices, as well as numerous gifts to Leishi, pies, cereal, or a piece of lard, provided a way out for the kidnapped ones. When a human returned from the captivity of Aleshi, it was assumed that he was a different person who would have difficulty reintegrating into society. The human's mental condition shifted, he acted strangely, and he had to relearn how to communicate. He was an antisocial entity who was enticed by the prospect of returning to the wilderness. Leishi encounters also resulted in the acquisition of various magical skills, such as the ability to foresee the future or communicate with ghosts. Leishi's Powers and Weaknesses Leishis have a variety of skills and abilities, making them deities who should never be angered, even if it's by accident. Leishis have the ability to morph into any woodland animal or plant, 
and they may even choose how tall they want to be, effectively shape-shifting. They can be as small as the forest tiniest home, or as tall as the forest tallest tree. They can also command any creatures in the forest to perform his will, as well as mimic human voices, which is one of their most terrifying talents. Leishis frequently create contracts with humans, preventing them from doing anything in the forest without the Leishis' permission. In exchange, the Leishi will defend their animals against any woodland predators. They're frequently regarded as having the direct capacity to get you lost in the most improbable settings, producing bewilderment and disorientation, as a popular Russian proverb goes. A Leishi can get you confused among three pines. Finally, they have the ability to construct illusions and trap humans within them. However, these guidelines are not completely foolproof, so keep your ears alert. Remember, you will hear a Leishi before you can see it, and they do not have any weaknesses. If you know what to look for, you will be able to spot it, and hopefully avoid a Leishi during your stroll in a forest. Leishis do not have a shadow. So remember to look at the ground and look hard to see whether the gigantic tree in front of you is giving off a shadow. If not, run and don't look back. Secondly, their eyes glow in a green light in whichever form they take. So keep an eye out for a human who approaches you in the middle of a forest. Look deep into their eyes. If they are glowing green, it is too late, and you're too close to the Leishi to run away anyway. Does the Leishi scare you? Let us know in the comments below. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one, and be safe. Thanks, everyone.